And we were saying that after enough years, we have apples that grow on that apple tree. And then as the season goes from spring to summer to fall, the apple grows. And then when it's ripe, you can pick it and they can make apple cider, apple sauce, apple pie, all that good stuff. All right, boys and girls. Well, now it's time for us to do some counting with our worksheet. Well, the first one I want to show you. A little bit hard to see, isn't it? With the lighting. We're going to count how many apples are on the tree. Are you ready? One. That one was kind of simple, wasn't it? Not very many apples grew on this tree. So we're going to draw a straight line one. Just like that, there's one apple on that tree. Let's count how many apples are on this tree. Notice I'm going to touch and count the apples. Ready? One, two, three. Hey, we can say our poem and it'll make sense. Around a tree, around a tree, that's the way to make a three. This time we went around an apple tree. Okay, let's count this one. Ready? One, two. There's a pair of apples. Sounds like I'm talking about another fruit now, doesn't it? Around and back on a railroad track. Two, two. And finally, our last one. One, two, three, four. Four apples growing on this tree. Down, back, down once more. That's the way to make a four. Now, if we wanted to put these trees in order from the least to the greatest, we would go one, two, three, you could almost cut these out like cards and line them up and do that. Or you could go from the greatest to the least. Four, three, two, one. That would be fun to do. Well, on this worksheet, boys and girls, we practice how to count and write our numbers from one to four. Let's take a look at this worksheet. This one I had mentioned earlier that it looks like a zero or a, or a letter O. And that would be true. But what I really want you to focus on when you practice writing these is starting at the top, curving down to the bottom, going back up and closing at the top. I am just going to close on that one. I'm going to need to be a little more careful. Going down to the bottom, touch the bottom, back up to the top. Oh, good. Okay. I feel like I did a much better job on this one. Boys and girls, I'd like you to practice about five of these on each of these rows and then you're going to be ready for making those curves so that it will help us make our numbers and letters. All right. One more activity I'd like you to do for this station today and you're going to be very familiar with it because you've already done numbers one through eight, I think one through seven. Now I want you to use your construction paper to cut out nine circles for this apple tree. Eight for this one, and ten on this apple tree. Oh, you're wondering what these are. Okay, I'll show you. Can you see closer? Yep, they're apples. What you can do with those is you can um, cut them out, and you can match them up to the tree that has that many apples on it. So say you have ten on this one, you could put an apple on top of each of the ones you have and match them up and count to that number. You could also play a game where you put a little pile of them, pick them up, count how many, how many are in your hand, and then find the tree that matches. So you're going to want to get out your other apple tree cards that you already made. I know there are a lot of little pieces, but if you use an envelope or a baggie, you can put those pieces together and you'll have another game for playing during the afternoons or the mornings, which other time you're not in school with Mrs. Finkel pretty soon here. All right, boys and girls, today we did some practice with counting. We used the idea of apples and we practiced writing curves. All right, have fun completing those assignments.